Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to create a scatter plot, um, find the line of best fit, and find the correlation coefficient in Excel. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our data set and we're going to highlight the information that we want to put in our scatter plot. So for this one, what I have is I have fat and calories that are in a fast food hamburger. So once you've highlighted it, and this is for Excel 2016, um, I'm going to do the quick analysis and I'm going to go to charts and I want to do a scatter plot, but the problem is, is that if I just select it from this um, menu right here, it will do a combined. So I'm going to go to more and I want to do, see for this one, they give you a scatter plot that also shows um, where they're all connected. So I don't want that. I just want a general scatter plot. So I'm going to hit all charts and go to XY scatter. And I'm going to select this one right here and click OK. And then I'm going to format this because there's some things that I want it to have. So with this, once you've selected your scatter plot, you can look at it and see what's going on. We can see that this has a pretty strong linear pattern. Um, it is positive. So as my um, number of fat um, or the amount of fat increases, the calories also increase. So if you had to actually describe the association, that's what you would say. You can change your color if you would like to. So you can go in and color, like if maybe you wanted orange um, or purple or green, whatever color you want to do. So I'm gonna select green. Um, and then I'm gonna go to quick layout and I'm gonna select this one right here. And the reason I'm selecting this one is because it shows the line of best fit and it also gives us our variance. Okay, so then I'm gonna just drag this over here so it's not in the middle. So this right here gives us our line of best fit and it also gives us our variance, the R squared. It tells us that 92.28% of our variability is explained by this line. And you do always wanna title this, so I'm just gonna say that this is fast food hamburgers. So whatever your scatter plot is, you would make sure that you title it. Make sure that you add your axis titles. So this one is calories, if I can type. Um, and this one down here would be the fat in grams, just so that you have that. Um, a scatter plot always should include labels so that anybody looking at it would know what it represents. And then the line of best fit, I'm just going to fill that in from what we got um, in the equation. If you get something with an E in it, that means scientific notation. So if you got like 1.1E um, 1. 1 negative 2, that means scientific notation. So make sure that you watch for things like that. Um, so that gives us our line of best fit. Our correlation coefficient, what you're going to do is you can either take the square root of the variance, but then you have to remember whether it's positive or negative, or you can use the Excel formulas where you just type in equals and start typing correlation. The C-O-R-R-E-L is the correlation. And then it's going to ask you for your boundaries. So you can either type in, like for this one, I'll type in, I want from A2 colon A8, comma and then you want your second one so you could have also selected this way where you just go through and highlight the data that you want so you can either type it in um, and then just hit enter and it will give you your correlation the correlation coefficient for this is 0 0.9606 which is really strong um, remember the closer it is to one the stronger the linear relationship as long as your picture shows that a linear relationship is appropriate which this one does Okay, so the type of association for this one would be a strong, positive, linear association. Okay, um, if you saw a curve in there, you would say a nonlinear association. Um, if you see no association in there, it is possible that there is no association. Remember that R helps you define that. The correlation coefficient helps you define that. Um, the closer R is to one, as long as you can see that there is a line in your scatter plot, the stronger the relationship is. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.